Hello, hello. How are you today? Today, we're going to talk about building your new baseline of belief in yourself, your abilities, and in what's possible. This is going to be a game changer for you. This is the game changer everybody needs. This is important because our results are only as good as the belief that we have, that we can create the results and whatever results you have in your life right now, whatever you have in your life, right? Like look around you, see what you have, maybe see some of the things you're thinking you don't have all of those things, whether they're there or they are not there were created because of a belief that you had in yourself, your abilities or what was possible. Beliefs are simply thoughts that we think over and over again. They're habits. And if you want to get sciency, they are neuropathways that we create by thinking the same thoughts. And if you've ever been to the forum in Rome, you'll see these grooves in the marble as you're walking around. And what those grooves were, they were created by chariots who were just driving down the same grooves over and over again going the same place on the same road over and over throughout the years. And those grooves are just like what happens in our brain when we repeat the same old thoughts over and over again. That groove really represents the baseline belief, the one that we see most frequently. And it feels just like we're reporting the news. We'll be having a conversation with someone. Maybe we'll be talking to ourselves and we're just going to say words and they sound like facts. And that's why we don't usually see them until we start questioning them and poking around in our brains, which is what I do when I work with my clients. And if while you're listening to this episode, you're nodding yes throughout it, I want to invite you to book a call with me because I can help you get the results that you want in your life. It takes questioning what's happening in your brain and starting to build up your baseline beliefs around what you want. You do this over and over again with consistency and repetition until the groove is as strong, if not stronger than the other one built in your brain. And you can book at dinacataldo.com forward slash strategy session. So this is how this episode is gonna go, okay? First, I'm gonna give you awareness around your baseline beliefs. Then I'm going to show you how these beliefs play out in your actions and in actions to create the results that you currently have in your life. Finally, I am going to help you use this new awareness to begin building your baseline of belief to help you get the results that you want. And I'm going to share with you one belief that you can use right now to start creating the results that you want. It's one that served me when I was starting to change things in my life and it serves me to this day. Sound good? Okay, let's go. So how will you know if your baseline belief is low and that you can build it up to get better results? This is what it's gonna sound like in your head or when you're having conversations. It's gonna sound like, I don't have time. It's too hard. I'll do it later. That sounds nice, but I can't do that because insert your special reason there. I don't know how. I'm not ready. It can't be done. I can't do that. If I do that, then something bad will happen. Or any thought with the flavor, they are not on my side or no one knows what I'm going through. You'll notice that you have feelings in your body like pressure, overwhelm, anxiety, confusion, maybe uncertainty, alone, and fearful. The way these thoughts and feelings will show themselves throughout the day are in your actions, but most importantly, in your inaction. There are three types of lawyers that come to me the most for help with this. So I am going to focus on those three types in this episode. But if you don't identify with any of them, I encourage you to ask how this might apply to you. Not does this apply to you? I use that in quotation marks, but how, how does it apply to you? It's one of the best questions you can ask yourself in any situation to get the most out of a conversation with anyone you're having a conversation with. 
And when we count ourselves out, it's really a reflection of our baseline belief that no one knows our problem and that it's just unsolvable. So don't do that to yourself. The three types of lawyers I work with the most are those who want help with one, starting a new business venture of some sort, building business, or who want to start a new practice area, two, reigning in their calendar, right? They want help with that. Or three, they want help making partner. And this is what I see them do. And I've done these things too. Nothing has gone wrong if you're doing them. Your brain is working exactly as it was designed. Your actions are a reflection of the baseline belief that you have. That's it. And what we're going to get to in this episode is how to begin building up your baseline belief so you can get the results that you want. So for lawyers who fall into type one, starting a new business or practice area, here's where you're going to see the thoughts and feelings I just described showing up in your actions. You won't be making plans. Maybe you'll be listening to lots of podcasts, reading books and blogs, but you're going to be implementing very little, if any of it. You're not telling people about your new business or practice area. You're not asking for help. You're not putting yourself out there on social media or telling people in your network what you're doing. For lawyers who fall into type two, reigning in your calendar, your actions or inactions are going to look something like jumping into your work week instead of taking time to plan your week, buying new planners, thinking that it's going to change things for you, trying a calendar plan for a week or two, and then ditching the plan and telling yourself it's not working, going on vacation and worrying the whole time that you're on vacation and checking emails the whole time and really not enjoying yourself bringing work home and then staring at your briefcase all night and doing zero work, skipping the gym so you can work more and you do it on a consistent basis, and procrastinating on work. And for those lawyers who fall into type three, wanting to make partner, your actions and inactions will look something like not letting people know that you want to make partner, not asking for the work that you want, saying yes to lots of projects, even if you're already stretched thin and you're not interested in them. You're not raising your hands in meetings. You're not taking charge of your projects. Maybe you're gossiping to other lawyers or about other lawyers who you might see as go-getters or brown nosing. And you're asking lots of questions of your partners, but you're not first taking a little time to look up the answer because you don't trust yourself or you're afraid you're going to get the wrong answer. Now, if you identified with any of these indicators, I'm going to help you use this awareness to build a new baseline of belief. And remember, if you're unhappy with the results that you have so far, it's your baseline belief in you, your capabilities, or what's possible that is creating those results. Now, before we get into this, it's important to know that you are not your beliefs. Just because you have held on to a belief for however long doesn't mean anything about whether or not you can change it yourself or your results. It means nothing about the true or falseness. I don't know. Is that a word? The, the veracity of that belief. And I know this firsthand. I use this example a lot when um, I talk about this. And I think it is a really great illustration of how you can break things down and problem solve. And it's something to keep in mind as you begin building your new baseline of belief. When I decided I wanted to build a business while being a full-time criminal prosecutor, I had to make time. But my baseline beliefs were things like, I hate waking up in the morning, I don't have time, and this is too hard. And I'm sure I had a lot more beliefs, but these are the ones that really stood out to me. And these baseline beliefs showed up in my results. I woke up hurried and frazzled and ran out the door every morning. And this set the tone for my whole day. I would watch myself get up out of bed, right? I would be um, really rushing, you know, like I would be just staying in bed a really long time and then rushing out the door. And then when I was driving, I would notice that I'd have some road rage happening. And then when I got to the office, I'd be short with people. And I just generally felt like I was doing a horrible job being a person. <laughs> and I, you know, really it was interesting because so many of us, myself included, say things to ourselves like, who do I think I am to be doing this? Like, how do I even think that this is possible for me? But I'll tell you who I thought I was. I had another baseline belief that really served me. And that thought was, I can figure this out. I encourage you to steal that belief. 
Because once I wanted something, I had a why, a reason to change things. I wanted time to think about what business I wanted to build, how I could do it. I wanted time to learn what I needed to learn about entrepreneurship. And that allowed me to get curious. What would need to change for me to do these things? Well, first of all, I needed to feel better, right? Because at that time, I felt horrible. I felt like I was just doing a horrible job being a human. I hated the way I felt in the morning. I didn't like how I was showing up at work. And I thought that the best time to work on my business was the morning because I wasn't exhausted from the day at the office. So I asked myself what I would need to do to change things. And so I observed my current morning routine. That's the very first thing is just observe what's happening right now. And then I sifted out what I didn't like. I became the observer, right? I saw that I had my phone by my bed. I used that as my alarm. I scrolled email before getting up. I hit snooze multiple times. I woke up consistently 30 to 60 minutes later than I wanted. I ran to the shower, got dressed, left, didn't have food, didn't have coffee, didn't have tea. And then I made a hypothesis after making these observations. Okay. One hypothesis was, okay, get phone away from bed. Maybe um, it's going to make it easier to get up. Another one was have some things really easy for me in the morning so I don't have to think, have a journal, coffee, tea, or whatever I wanted set up at my breakfast nook so I didn't have to think. Of course, this did not work the first few times because I would forget to do something or I stayed up too late. You know, you you get the gist, right? It does not work the first time. So you've got to go back and you've got to be the scientist. You can't get down on yourself and tell yourself that it's not going to work. You've got to remind yourself. This is part of building a new baseline belief. It's just reminding yourself, I can figure this out. Like just because it didn't work today doesn't mean I can't figure this out. Just because it didn't work again today doesn't mean I can't figure this out. Other people can do this. I can figure this out. Whatever you need to tell yourself to keep going, do that. Okay, so then once I kept going, I could make some additional observations. Oh, I like getting eight hours of sleep. I function really well on that. I have to go to bed at X time so that I can get eight hours of sleep. Don't look at my phone one hour before I go to bed because that keeps me wired and then I can't fall asleep. Don't drink caffeine after 3 p.m. because that keeps me wired and I can't go to sleep. So you see, like I had to keep progressively trying this because I couldn't make all those observations at once. You hear me saying them to you now as if, oh, obviously, like these are things you need to know. But because I was just doing trial and error, which is everything, business, it's law, (laughs) it's time management, it's all trial and error. You will not know the how until it's done. So you go through this trial and error period and you've got to keep reminding yourself, oh, just because I didn't do it today doesn't mean I can't do it tomorrow. Just because I couldn't figure it out today doesn't mean I can't figure it out tomorrow. Because I couldn't figure out caffeine, the phone, needing time to unwind, the needing eight hours, all of that, I would not be able to figure that out all at once. I needed to give myself time and space to do that. I was literally playing scientist in my life, and you can do this too with whatever it is that you're going after. That one thought, I can figure this out, saved me. And having an hour to reflect or to listen to a podcast made me realize, right, once I made that time for myself in the morning, that there were other things that I wanted, but I wasn't allowing myself to want them because my head was so jumbled with crappy baseline thoughts that I was not allowing myself to go after those things. I wasn't seeing the kind of work that you know we're doing here on the podcast that I do with my clients. I was not seeing that in the lawyers that I worked with. I had to look outside of the legal profession to find this kind of work. Even more importantly than changing my morning routine, though, was the second secondary benefit that I got from this exercise, and that was belief in myself. I gained confidence. It fueled my belief that I really could figure anything out and I really could change my life. I didn't even have to 100% believe that I could figure it out. I just needed to like 90% believe or 70% believe and then just keep believing it. I didn't have to 100% believe it. Now onto building your new baseline of belief. 
as you were listening to this episode, you likely picked up a few habits of thinking that are creating your current results. Keep those in mind as you listen to this section. You don't have to change all of your beliefs. You don't even have to believe them 100%. I just had one great thought that helped me change my whole morning routine, which was I can figure this out. And if you're stuck, I would make this my mantra. Number one, very first step, what is it that you want? Ask yourself this. You will not change anything in your life until you define this. It doesn't have to be fancy. If you don't know what you want, then maybe you want to figure out what it is that you want. Why do you want to do that? What is it that you want? Like, really, what is the feeling you want to create in your life? Because anything that we do is because of a feeling we think we're going to have once we figure that thing out. What do you think you're going to feel? Why is that important to you? Your reasons don't have to be poetic. It can just be because you're tired of being tired or you want to make more money. No one is judging you on this. Just pick a reason and go. It does not have to be altruistic. You can keep building and shifting your beliefs as you're go you go. Like this literally changed for me. Like at the beginning, I thought it was because I wanted to get away from the law. No, that's not what it was, right? In the beginning, I thought it was because I wanted to make more money. No, that's not what it was, right? But I didn't learn that until later. But I just picked a belief and I went with it. Don't even have to like keep that forever. You just take what you got and then you go. <laughs> and having your why in mind is going to give you the fuel that you need to do the next steps. So the second step here is asking yourself, if you had to guess, what do you think would help you do that thing that you chose in the first step? Don't let your brain say, I don't know, take a guess. So for my business, I guessed having time in the mornings was what was going to help me because I wouldn't be tired. I could have been wrong. I wouldn't have known unless I tried it, though. You might have make time as your guess. A lot of my clients start there and I help them create that time. If your new baseline belief is I can figure it out, then where might that time be? How might you figure it out? Ask yourself where you might find more time. Where might you be wasting time? then ask what's more important to you. If what you want is more important than social media time, then remind yourself of that every time you're on social media. Building a new baseline of belief requires reminding yourself over and over again about what you want. Remember the grooves in the forum, right? In the marble. You're creating a new groove. You're creating a new neural pathway. And in order to do that, you've got to remind yourself over and over again, I can figure this out. I can figure this out. And as I'm saying this example, imagine having like a chariot back then that was very light and it was just over that path. Like, remember, you don't have to believe these thoughts 100%. You don't have to believe I can figure it out 100%. You just need maybe 70%. You 70% believe it. And it's a very light chariot and it makes a very light groove in the marble, right? But the more you do it over and over again, having that weight in the groove, it's going to help make it stronger and stronger and stronger. And as you are creating new results in your life, you're going to gain more belief. It's going to make the chariot heavier and heavier, and you're going to create a heavier groove, a deeper groove. All right, third thing that you want to do here is once you've taken a guess at what will help you, how are you going to make that happen? One thing that can help you with this is taking out a pad of paper and a pen and just writing all the thoughts you have about what could help you to make this happen. Just keep asking yourself, what else? What else? Do this for 20 minutes. Don't skimp on the time here. Write down even the most ridiculous ideas. Keep your brain working for the entire 20 minutes. Most of us stop too soon and then miss out on the genius that our brain offers us. So in an example like making partner, your list might include things like take partner out to lunch to talk to talk to them about my performance review. Ask other partners I'm comfortable with what they did or if they have any suggestions. Read a couple articles about how to make partner. Make sure partners know the work I'm putting in by CCing them on team emails. Talk to the marketing person in my firm about building my book of business. How do I make myself more valuable? Find a podcast that resonates with me and listen to that once a week. Keep writing. Just keep doing this. You're going to find more and more ideas. Your brain is so resourceful. Fourth, pick one of those activities on your list and do it. Fifth, keep picking activities off that list and keep doing them. 
I keep picking one, another and another and another. Dare yourself to keep doing things on that list. You are going to be uncomfortable. We talked about that in the last episode, putting off hard things. If you haven't listened to that one, you can go back to it. Let it be uncomfortable. Do those things. And as you take action, your belief in yourself and in what's possible will grow. And as you begin to see better results, your belief in what what is possible is going to keep growing. And the action and the belief, they keep going hand in hand. If you want help with this, if you want help building your baseline of belief and getting better results for yourself in your life and in your practice, book a call with me. I can help you. There's a reason you have the desire that you have. It's not a coincidence that you have this desire and you're listening to this podcast right now. I I don't believe in coincidences anymore. I stopped believing in them 100%. And if you are feeling a pull for something more in your life, that you're meant for more, that you're meant to do something more, then book a call with me. I went through the same thing, right? Like I needed to hear that other people had the same draw. I felt so strange. Like there was something that was amiss. Like, why do I have this desire? Like no one else seems to have this desire that I have. Is there something wrong? Should I be doing something different? And if you are recognizing that in you and you're here, it's not a coincidence. And having a coach with me side by side really helped me build the beliefs that I needed to stay the course and create the life that I wanted. That's why I get to be a full-time coach now. Like That's why I get to have this amazing life. I get to help people live their best lives. Okay, so very first, let's do a quick recap here. So first, ask yourself what you want. Second, if you had to guess, what do you think would help you move the needle to help you achieve what you want? Third, once you've taken a guess at what will help you, what are all the ways that might help you make that happen? Fourth, pick one of those activities on your list and do it. And fifth, keep picking activities off that list and doing them even if it's uncomfortable. And keep using that mantra, I can figure this out. All right, this was like a master class in getting better results in your life. This was really fun to get to do. There's a lot here to digest, but it's always there for you to re-listen to it. And this is something that when you do this work, you're gonna see the shifts that you wanna see. Okay, my friend, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.